afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are Group 23, and we're going to complete our group presentation of team project. <coughs> this is our design. We designed a warehouse for car parking and uh, car maintenance services. Uh, this warehouse uh, we designed located in the Kumara Gold Coast. Uh, uh, we uh, can make sure that our uh, ac academic uh, knowledge and uh, technical skills will meet the requirement of the client. This is what we design. design. Uh, we have the 30 meters length and the 10 meters width, and the average height is 5 meters. On this side, we have two doors for uh, cost entries, and this another uh, inside. Uh, this side, we have two windows for the air. I'm going to talk about pulley and rafter selection. Our first priority is safety, so we've been working on it to make sure that the section is strong enough to carry the load. For the pulling, the span is 7.5 meters, so we choose from the smallest member to make it most economical, which is Z150-15. But after we calculate the dead load and light load, the most critical pressure is beyond its capacity. So we check the capacity of a stronger member, which is Z215, and it turned out to be okay. For rafter selection, as it is a relatively long rafter, the span is 10 meters and five rafters are used in total. So we think the most economical way is to reduce rafter size. We chose 200 UB 22.3 with two fly bracings. The section is strong enough to carry the load. Then we reduced the rafter size to 200 UB 18.2 still with two fly bracings, but the section turned out to be inadequate, so we choose 200 UB 22.3 with two fly bracings. Hello, I'm Paul. The part I explain is column design. In this part, we should choose suitable column size. The detailed design process has been demonstrated in our report. So, the next, I will talk about our thoughts. In our design, the principle is that low cost and high safety. And the column design is an exception. However, it's too much trouble to find the most economical column over and over again. Because the change in column will lead to change in M star. If we do that, we shall recalculate all the things we have calculated before. In order to ensure the progress and efficiency of our team project, at the beginning, we should estimate the end star by using space gates and choose a suitable for safety and economical column. So we choose 150 UC30 as all columns. Then we check whether the value of phi and C is greater than N star. If that's adequate, our design will be accessible. Finally, we found the result is acceptable and we use 150 UC30 in our column design. Thank you. Uh, now it's my turn to give you a brief introduction about how we selected the tension bracing. By using the rafters and the columns we selected just now, the displacement will be more than the limited range. Thus, we decided to use the equal angle as our tension bracing. Based on the data given by the space case, the most economical one was the 30 times 6 equal angle. What's more, after calculation, uh, our design load will be less than the capacity of the equal angle, which can ensure our equal angle will be safe in our construction. Hi everyone, I'm Aaron and I'm going to introduce the protections of our design. Uh, we, firstly, we chose uh, uh, the apex movement design for the rafter to rafter and we use the, this plate. It was 400 and, uh, 410 times 120 times 20 plate and we use the, it was made of 8 M20 bolts. And as to the wells, we use the field wells for both flange and web beams. Uh, this design is given by the space case. And as to the column to the rafter design, we use the website connections. It, the website connections is made of uh, four M24 bolts and uh, uh, 
144 times 219 times 12 millimeters plate. Uh, during the calculation, uh, the edge of the uh, the edge of from both to the edge is not okay. So we uh, increase it to th 37, and uh, after the calculation, it was acceptable. And uh, all our aim is to make it safety and economic. Uh, so thanks for taking time to view our presentation.